So yeah, FD817 repaired from M0KRL. Just got it back. He's my rig doctor for these complex matters such as power amplifiers. So we've got a new PA output for the HF side and the VHF side. Now putting five watts out and receiving really well on my uh, homemade Delta Loop 20 meter full wave antenna system that I'm running this 817 on. Mike Zero, Yankee Kilo Sugar. Obviously running, running low power, five watts. Mike Zero, Yankee Kilo Sierra. Not a good idea to try getting a pile up. <laughs> Yankee Kilo Sugar, Yankee Kilo Sugar. Yankee Kilo Sugar. Yankee Kilo Sugar, Mike Zero, Yankee Kilo Sugar. Mike Zero, Yankee Kilo Sugar. So yeah, it's the 817. Put it on the mod mode, we'll just put it on the power. I was showing no output previously. But now we're back to full strength. This is a Mark 1. Had it for a good 12, 13, maybe 14 years. Mike Zero, Yankee Kilo Sugar. Mike Zero, Yankee Kilo Sugar. Mexico Zero, Yankee Kilo Sugar, Yankee Kilo Sugar. Mexico Zero, Yankee Kilo Sugar, Yankee Kilo Sierra. Thank you. Yankee Kilo Sierra. So a lot more shouting with five watts. So he should be running 10 watts. I've got five on. Victor Sugar Yankee, Roger. Whiskey Sugar Charlie, Roger. Obviously struggling like I am. <laughs> okay, Mike Whiskey 3, Whiskey Sugar Charlie, about five and three. Good luck. Mike 3, Charlie Germany Hotel, you're five and nine. Mike 3, Charlie Germany Hotel, five and nine. Mike Zero, Yankee Kilo Sugar QRP. Zero, Yankee Kilo something QRP 5 and 9. Yeah, thanks. It's Yankee Kilo Sugar. Mike Zero, Yankee Kilo Sugar. 5 watts from an 817. 5 by 9 plus plus. Right. Uh, Mike Zero, Yankee Kilo QRP only. Go ahead. Yeah, thanks. Mike Zero, Yankee Kilo Sugar uh, QRP on 5 watts from an 817. You're 5 9 plus over. Mike Zero, Yankee Kilo Sugar QRP at 5 and 9. Thank you. Bye bye. Was that call for 3? Excellent. That'll do. So, yeah, we managed to get the. Uh, Station on five watts. Took a bit of shouting, but we did it. So yeah, bands are in reasonably good shape. So you're listening on the FT817 from Yesu, Mark 1. And we're running a 20 meter full wave delta loop, which I'll show you in a minute. And I'm M0YKS, live in the shack playing around as usual the radio back from the repair shop Hello, I'm a skill writer, man. The man 
one kilowatt versus five watts. <laughs> So it is working well. Very nice. Now, I'm not sure, I'm not sure about your prefix. Your prefix, uh, on the prefix again. Mike Zero, Yankee, Kilo, Sierra, QRP. We try a bit of Morocco on five walls. Mike Zero, Yankee Kilo Sugar. Mike Zero, Yankee Kilo Sugar, QRP. Probably too many people calling. Good fun this 5 watts business. Especially when it's working well. I'll just have you a quick tour of the bands. Because I just uh, want to keep the video fairly short. So we're running the 817 like I said. Um, multi band, multi mode radio. Just check out some of the other bands and see what's going on. Because the Delta Loop is a very versatile antenna and great receiver. But I'll have to just tune it with the ATU. So yeah, Russia signals coming in great tonight. Let's try 15, see if we can hear anything on there. Seems a bit quiet on there, so we'll just move up, because I know that 10 meters is open, or it was. Let's start off on the FM side. Lock it down. So yeah, fantastic transceivers. Simple to use. Very portable. But it seems like 10 meters is not open tonight. Not on that antenna anyway. So seven, 40 meters. Pretty pleased because previously the radio was uh, not fully opened up across the 40 meter band, but now it is. So it'll transmit across it all. It just uh, With it being an old original Mark I, when this radio was produced, the band was not allocated for Amateur use above 7.1. So now I can use the uh, radio across the whole of the 40 meter band with a modification of it opened up to transmit. So it sounds like we've got some fairly short skip on. Uh, 
So yeah, it comes with the full DTMF microphone, which is useful for the VHF side. So it's just uh, whoops. Go down the band. See what a uh, 80 meter band's picking up. Not as much because the antenna would need to be tuned. Just put it on the straight bypass so we're getting a better signal. So again the delta loop, 20 meter full wave, receiving down here as well. Some signal there. Like nudge yourself off frequency there. Anyway, working well. Let's just uh, go up to the VHF side, which I don't have the VHF antenna in. Obviously, the Delta Loops not a suitable antenna for transmitting. But again, it's okay for receiving. So I'm not sure if there's any activity on the local VHF tonight. I just heard a few guys on my other radio coming in quite nicely which is in the background, that's the FT2980. But right now, it's time to knock this one on the head. It's bedtime for my daughters. So I'm gonna quickly show you the, the uh, Delta Loop antenna and end the video. So here I am, I'm just gonna uh, nip down the bottom end and show you the Delta Loop antenna. And again, I've had this up for probably about five years at least. So basic, basically, this is the feed point. I'm just trying to make it a bit clearer because it's a little bit over the wall. So we've got the ch choke on there an RF choke uh, which is connecting to the main coaxial cable and then we've got a, a dipole centre with some wire which basically heads up this tree in a vertical pattern if you can see it going all the way up to the tree I'll zoom out in a minute you'll get a better idea it tucks over the branch and basically drops down the other side in a straight line which you can just make it out it's tied off if you look at the side of that tree you can see it coming back down there and it ties off and then it comes back across to this point so it's not so obvious on that close-up image but when I zoom out you get a better idea of the situation so it's quite it's obviously it's a, a large loop the loop itself is uh, I think it's about near enough 70 feet of wire 67 feet of wire in our uh, equal triangular kind of configuration I've got mine on the vertical configuration just clear that up a little bit for you a little bit blurry and that's the delta loop so simple antenna system which i used here at the shack alongside uh, other antennas obviously so yeah you can make yourself one virtually free of charge if you've got a dipole center a bit of coax and a piece of wire and like i said about 67 feet is the length if you feed it with a quarter wave of 75 ohm uh, coax you can do without any uh, any choke or, or ballon I've got the chalk in there which uh, does the job for me. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the video on QRP 5 watts with the Yesu FT817 M0YKS. Catch you soon, 73. Thanks for watching.